hi everybody welcome back in this video i am going to show how do we change the style of fire notification messages when i say style we may need to change the color of the message we may need to change the font we may need to uh, add the border uh, on the message that we show using fire notification in action chain which is not straightforward so i am going to show how do we do this in Oracle Virtual Builder. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new page here, create page, and let's give a name, let's say fire notification, and let's say create. So here, what I will do, I will simply create a button. I will simply create a button here, let it come. Okay, so let me create a button here, let's say button. And when I click on this button, let's say fire notification. And here on this, I need to generate an event here. And there I will push a fire notification and let's say send an email. Okay, let's say uh all right sending an email and let's say this is like a information or i'd say confirmation whatever you want and let's say go to the page designer go to the properties go to the live mode and let's say find notification and you see we have received this all right sending an email for example you would like to change this or you would like to change this in terms of you would like to make it red or you want to change the font size how do we do this so what i'm going to do i'm going to use some css class here first of all and i'm going to overwrite some standard class app.css and let's say dot info message so here there are two classes oj hyphen private hyphen message hyphen detail hyphen text hyphen color and then you can choose any message let's say you can say that i want to show this you can see oj hyphen private hyphen message hyphen detail hyphen text color is a standard class provided by oracle chat and i'm overriding this particular class and using the red color and similarly you can say i also wanted to change the font size And here you can see detail font font size font size and font size let's say i want it of 16 px and now let's go back here by simply doing this it's not going to change anything so here what you have to do you have to go to your action listener and you have to do something else here as well so here what i'm going to do i'm going to use some code code here and then I'm going to use a let, let's say doc, document dot get element by ID. And here we are going to use something like VB default notifier. So this is the ID of this file notification. So this is inbuilt. And there I'm going to add a class here dog dot class list dot add. So which class I'm going to add? This one. Info. So here what I'm going to do, I'm I'm I, I did that. I get the the this file notification element and then in this element I am adding a class let's say info message and whatever you have done in this class that will be that will be customized meaning your message will be customized so you can say page designer find notification okay something wrong cannot read properties class list something wrong or maybe we be default notifier it's not correct notifier okay 
Okay, so I guess I have to refresh that because I have added that app. I have added that class. Here we go. You can see I'm able to change that. Similarly, if you want to change that, you have to search a similar kind of class for the summary, I guess. That is summary. If you see, that is called message. That is called summary. Let me try. I'm not sure, but let's try this. And you can say summary. Summary detailed message. And you can say green, for example. I'm not sure that's going to work, but let's try this. No, it's not working. So maybe there may be a, some other Java class that may need to use to change that particular summary. So this is how you can customize, you can add your own CSS on this file notification, guys. Hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.